Okay, here's what I did with uh, an old Craftsman 12 inch bandsaw. One of my buddies threw it out. What happened was uh, it worked, but the, uh, let me show you underneath there, the uh, tilt portion of it was broke. So what I did is I took a piece of aluminum and countersunk it into the frame and then I countersunk the top into the table itself and I had to make the, the disc also that was missing. And what I did is I used a uh, motor from a uh, treadmill. Now these treadmill motors are pretty common. I'm going to show you the one exactly what I use right here. Uh, there's your standard treadmill motor. Uh, they rated at 90 to 115 volts DC. Remember it's DC, same stuff in use automotive system because of the good torque on them. Now this one here, just a little hint, when you take off the flywheel they go clockwise to take them off, okay? Okay, and in my case what I had to do was I actually had to cut off probably about a half an inch to make this fit inside the pulley. I'm going to show you right now, but here's the motor. It's off of, it's off a standard treadmill. They're, they're all the same. The one that's on the, on the, on the my, uh, bandsaw is the same one as this. And this particular motor I'm using here to make a wind turbine, but that's another story altogether. So going back to this, here's what the motor actually looks like. I had to take and bend the brackets on the bottom a couple places and weld a reinforcement across it just to keep it stabilized and small adjuster in there. And uh, another little feature that I had to keep was, let me show you, is I took the controllers and the breakers that we came with the, with the treadmill. And let me show you, they're still on the motor, but I mounted them underneath the table. That way they're out of the way, get the transformer and all the controllers right there. All right. Now coming back up to the top, let me open up the bottom here. That motor, the flywheel motor is going to hook to this pulley right back in here. Now the only thing I had to do with that pulley, the only thing I had to do was open up the inside diameter just a hair to fit over the shaft of the uh, the uh, DC motor itself. All right, and I put a flat spot on it so that the key would keep it stabilized. All right, so at that point. Up there, I took the speed control and I mounted that right underneath the switch. And there's a slight delay in it yet, but I'm going to show you uh, how it works. I got to turn it on and then put in a reset. And I got it marked approximately, I think around 200 RPM right there. Now you can see it's turning right now. Let me get back a little distance here. I'm going to turn the speed up. Okay, that's going all the way up. Let me turn it back down. I got it to just about crawl in there, all right? Which is going to be too slow for cutting steel, obviously, but I figure right around here is around 200 RPM, somewhere in this area. All right, so let me shut that off. Okay, standard blade. It takes a, it's a 12 inch bandsaw, but it takes an 80 inch blade. I ordered that from Al, uh, Alguna Tools out in California. And uh, it's been working great. I've been cutting uh, exhaust pipes for cars, and I've been cutting uh, quarter inch half inch steel like nothing. I mean, I'm going slow till I get a good feel for it, but the saw does work. And it, everything's out of the landfill. I got the, uh, like I said, the bandsaw was thrown out. I saw was that in the uh, treadmill motor. You can always find treadmills in the in the landfills right after Christmas. They use them for a couple of weeks and then they get sick of them and take them. But if you do to get the uh, treadmill, make sure you get the controller with it that controls the speed. And that's it. That works pretty darn good.